Hello there and welcome to TT YouTube channel. This is the third part of our tutorial on the fan loss. So there are many reasons for a fan motor to operate at an incorrect speed. In this video we're gonna cover the most common one which might be helpful for you. So by the end of this video you'll cover how to apply a reduction whenever the fan is uh, operating at uh, incorrect speed or for whatever reasons uh, we want to slow down the fan to save more money and energy on the electrical bill. Uh, therefore, saving energy is a great way to save money and slowing down a fan by applying fan loss is going to allow us to save energy on our electrical bill. In the part 2 of our discussion on the fan loss, uh, we decreased a 10% of the airflow to find out the new performance of the fan. So in this example, uh, we'll decrease a 20% of the airflow to find the new desired speed in order to save energy from wasting and the airflow provided by a fan uh, must be proportional to the fan speed. Uh, therefore, we'll use the same formula as before. Uh, fan speed new equals uh, CFM new divided by CFM old uh, multiplied by RPM old equals uh, uh, RPM new. Uh, static person new uh, equals CFM new divided by CFM old uh, uh, square multiplied by static pressure old uh, equals static person new and R power nu equals uh, CFM nu divided by CFM old uh, cube multiplied by horsepower old uh, equals uh, break horsepower nu. In order to figure out the performance of the new required fan uh, after a reduction of the airflow at new speed uh, we're going to use an example. Uh, let's say we have a ventilation system and it's delivering a flow rate of 2200 CFM at a static pressure of uh, 0.8 inch of water column as a break arse power of 2. If we decrease the airflow a 20% to 800 CFM, what is the new performance or new RPM of the fan at the new speed? Uh, therefore, a fan speed new equals uh, 1700. 60 CFM new uh, divided by 200 CFM old multiplied by uh, 1000 RPM old uh, equals uh, 800 RPM new. Uh, as you can see the speed uh, has changed uh, from 1000 RPM to 800 RPM. Uh, second uh, Static pressure new equals uh, 1760 CFM new divided by 200 CFM old uh, square multiplied by 0.8 static pressure old equals uh, 0.512 static pressure new. And here the static pressure has changed from it to 0.512 and Horsepower new equals uh, 1760 CFM new divided by 200 CFM old uh, uh, cube multiplied by 2 horsepower old uh, equals uh, 1.024 brick horsepower new. And here, as you can see, the horsepower has changed uh, from 2 to 1.0. 24. So the final condition of the new fan, as you can see we have just reduced uh, the airflow at 20% from 200 to 200 CFM to 760 CFM. Uh, therefore that change uh, has caused a reduction of 64% uh, in the static pressure which is uh, calculated according to the square of uh, speed ratio. 
and has also caused a reduction of 51.2% uh, in horsepower which is uh, calculated according to the cube of uh, speed ratio and that is directly related to how much uh, energy is required to run the fan so a 20% reduction uh, saves us 51.2% uh, of uh, energy on the electrical bill so the existing fan has a two horsepower motor uh, based on the fan laws uh, we need to install a smaller fan motor that uh, required a horsepower of uh, 1.024 and has to be capable of delivering uh, 1760 cfm of uh, air so that's it for today uh, I appreciate you for watching this video.